What up everyone, it's Lexi and in today's episode of Training Scene Velocidron I want to discuss sharp turns and I know it's a little bit of a step down considering the things that we were doing in the last video which by the way if you haven't seen yet it's here in the cards, check it out, it's really hard. I think we should discuss the sharp turns a little bit more often because it seems like a really easy obstacle, but at the same time it can step up your game significantly. As always, I have some information to share, so if you are not familiar with all the things that are right now on your screen, be sure to stop the video right now. Let's start with how this track actually looks like. So as per request, I'm adding the repair and recharge gate at the beginning or somewhere in the random places. Here it's at the beginning and this track is something a little bit different than we are used to. So there's just a lot of flags, you can use a lot of throttle considerably and that's basically it. And be sure to follow the cons if you get lost. I mean, I totally get it if you get lost here. I'm getting lost even though I built it. Uh, and that's basically it. Let me show three ways of approaching this obstacle. Level one is when you are kind of overshooting a lot of stuff. So you found an obstacle and you go through and then you start looking for the next one. So you are losing a lot of time in the air and looking for the next place that you have to go to. And absolutely don't worry, this gets easier the more you fly one particular track or the more tracks you fly in general, because then it gets easier for you to remember where to go, how to do stuff and stuff like this. The more you train, the easier it will be to remember stuff. Now level two is when you add a lot of throttle and you get a little bit jerky. So a lot of people actually do it like this. Uh, and it's kind of like you turn, but you kind of stop at one spot. And it's not necessarily like good because you overshoot still a lot of stuff. Maybe you are in too much throttle or you're just touching the whole wall on the input stick. Now, what I want you to do is to kind of orbit around the flags. So as I am doing it here, I'm getting really close to them. I'm trying not to overshoot them. Maybe it is taking a little bit less throttle, but I'm doing it extremely smooth. I'm not stopping. I'm just kind of in the flow and I'm not willing to lose any time in the air. Let's talk about timings. If your time on this track for one lap is around 30 seconds, try to get closer to the flag. Use a little bit more roll and a little bit more yaw into this turn. So you kind of orbit around the track rather than just uh, going through and then looking for another one or turning then. If your timing is up until like 25 seconds, re-watch your video or try to record your screen or something like this or get a friend who will tell you if you are overshooting or if you are touching the walls with your stick input. So if you see doing things like this and look at the stick input right now, so if any of your sticks touches the walls, even here, uh, then be sure to kind of stop doing this kind of be more gentle on your sticks and try to be like in between this. Something like that should be actually pretty good. If you are lower than 25 seconds, you are already doing a really good job and just try to get smoother, not stop while you are turning, add a little bit more roll, try to orbit around the flags and do stuff like this. Let me show you how to train it best. So we're gonna be using the roll and the yaw stick a lot. So be sure to check out the stick input. Now, if you want to be sure that your movement is good, try to orbit the flag. And as you can see, if I add more roll, I'm getting closer to the flag. If I take roll away, even though I'm not using the yaw as much, I am kind of getting farther away. So it will be a point of how much roll you are using to go around the flag. And you can try it with this one flag in particular and just do it both ways to see where's this kind of a sweet spot that's not getting you too far away from the flag, but also not too close so you won't hit it and stuff like this and just try to add accordingly. And it's really important to do it in all of them. So when you're going, you kind of orbit in the flag. When you are going next to this one, you kind of have this flag all the time in your view, as like here, see? So what you want to do is to keep the flag in your view. 
So you see where you are going, you see the flag and you are really close to it, as close to it as possible. So you start turning before even getting to the flag. So you are not going next to the flag and then turning around, no. What you are doing is you turn already here, kind of like orbiting, but not finishing the orbit to go to the next obstacle that you know where it is. So you kind of start turning here. And it's gonna take a little while when it goes to the training. Of course, you will need to kind of find the sweet spot for yourself. Also, another important thing might be the fact that when you are turning, you kind of take away the throttle just to give it back. So as you can see here, I'm taking the throttle just for a millisecond, just to do a little bit of a more push while I am actually turning. Now, let me show you how to do it properly with no talking. That's all I had for you guys today, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help me make algorithm extremely happy. Don't forget to play this track in Velocidron in the Mesis mode for the best results and basically to have someone to catch, the green guy is always the worst. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Train Insane Velocidron and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get to know about more episodes. Also, if you like this video, maybe you will like any of the videos presented right here and if you want to join the Discord community and get a lot of more perks, check out the Patreon. Thanks very much and see you next time.